see if I can do this without getting knocked on my ass somewhere here. So, um, see what I'm getting at? In a way, this isn't a lot different than uh, what's going on over here. A little more control over here, a little bit different. But uh, there you have an oscillator opening and closing a coil that produces high voltage. Here you have an oscillator. It goes into the uh, circuit and the circuit turns the uh, coils on and off. It's just a more sophisticated way of doing it. But this is mechanical and that's mechanical. So at some point in time this can be called a mechanical oscillator. At least I'll call it that. So let's go on with, uh, with testing this out now. We're back to where I started on the other video where I have the uh, little stator device hooked up. Hey, that's better stator device hooked up to um, the SSG circuit. And on the circuit I have the oscilloscope hooked up to the output. And on the input I have this little capacitor rather than a DC power supply or DC battery or anything else like that that's normally required to run this circuit and have high voltage come off. So once again I'm back here at uh, 14 volts the motor will spin at a thousand RPMs so there we go and uh, you can see the neon bulb starting to light up. Let's look at the scope. Yeah, we're we're on uh, times 10. Once again, oops, I'm on 2. Let's go to 5 volts per centimeter and I'll turn this other light off so we can see better. But uh, at any rate, I think you can see there that the uh, Spikes are a typical H, H wave like people are looking for on, on these uh, energizers or Bedini circuits. And the high voltage spikes are way up there at, let's see, 50, 100, 200, 300, about 350 volts. While well, this is turning at uh, 1000 RPMs. Alright, so will that charge? I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, I've disconnected the scope from the output of the SSG circuit and I've plugged uh, another battery in. And let's see what we're doing here. We're measuring 12.3121. 12 and the stator device on this board is disconnected. And we're going to run the other smaller device, which is, has the same windings with the motor. This motor, the circuit board, the voltage coming into it has nothing to do with what's going on here. This is simply now being supplied from anything that comes from the turning of, of this stator device. So let's get her going and see uh, see what happens. Oh, I gotta turn it on. So here we go. And let's go to the battery voltage. Alright, it's pretty slow. But it is going up, you can see. I hope this other battery up here, this, this one is uh, sort of depleted. And maybe it'll give a better example of, of charging uh, without this input being hooked up uh, to a battery or power supply. So let's get started here and we'll look at this battery. And you can see it'll it'll charge. Actually doing a pretty nice job. So anyhow you get the idea there. You can see this is hooked up to the meter the output of the SSG 
and there's nothing on the input of the SSG except for this capacitor which is being sort of back charged remember this is an input so this is working without this being charged up ahead of time it's just somehow feeds back through the circuit and uh, that's what I wanted to uh, show my friends and everything got kind of carried away on the other video and I apologize once again for it being so confusing mm -hmm. turn this mechanical device here into something that's going to charge faster I will take each of the ten coils and put a transistor on each coil probably change some windings and uh, it would probably work better but I don't know if I want to go through that trouble I'm not that inter interested in charging lead acid batteries nevertheless it wasn't meant to work this was just something that I found out by accident so here's what the video was really about besides the the testing of the the stator devices was to show the people that I know on the forums that this circuit can actually be activated without battery plugged into the input of the circuit and what this supports is some of the theory that there's some potential coming back through the circuit from the coils that helps re-energize the battery or makes the uh, the whole setup while it's running a little bit more efficient how it's doing it I'm not sure you know uh, I have some ideas that it has something to do with the uh, different phasing of the uh, the coils I think one pulse probably runs the motor and I think the other pulse in between the motor pulses somehow gets back to the battery and charges it and it's the same thing it's doing here it's charging this little capacitor as it runs so the capacitor takes the place of the battery but you know I thought it was significant enough to show to my friends we're going to take one quick look at while this is running and, and uh, producing uh, something that may or may not be usable I think that you'd have to work on it a little bit to actually turn this into some kind of a real life uh, application where you'd maybe spend this with a a windmill or I don't know something else but anyhow let's take a look at why this is is running hold on a minute I'll hook something up here so I hook a meter up to the capacitor here and you can see the capacitor is almost four volts so what's happening is yeah part of this is working as a generator right now and the very basic term or sense of the word so it has four volts coming back and strangely enough it's coming back through the input and so that's how we're charging up that capacitor and basically then the whole circuit I uh, imagine is working at uh, four volts which isn't an awful lot to get anything out of for charging but remember it was an accident I found that out and now that I know it you know maybe I'd rewind this stator to produce more voltage coming in and there would be more voltage coming out but I don't know if it's worth it or not so anyhow you uh, you may have a better idea now of what the uh, first movie was about and what some of the parts of the circuitry are doing and uh, hey, you know let's call it anything you want to call it if you want to call it a motor it's a motor if you want to call it a generator it's a generator if you want to call it an energizer it's an energizer whatever but uh, okay so there you have it I hope that uh, this video cleared things up a little bit and be glad to talk about any part of it that you like let me just tell you one thing here these circuits the, the uh, full wave circuit the SSG circuit you can find anywhere on YouTube there's hundreds of people that that have used them and they're they have the uh, the drawings of the circuit and uh, you know I can't post drawings on on my site because I'm a YouTube partner and I have to have permission from uh, the uh, the people like John Bedini and I don't think I'm ever going to get that so I'm leaving the the uh, drawings off but you can find them anywhere just type in uh, SSG circuit or uh, bipolar sequential bipolar Bedini coal window motor circuit any of that stuff will get you there 
uh, the stator motors you can find on eBay just type in printer mains motor or printer drive motor and you'll find some of those so there you have it how about you Ram you got anything to add besides snoring I don't know there's probably a lot of people out there snoring right now okay everybody uh, thanks a lot for looking and we'll see you the next time uh, another video comes along take care